forward cheer for Primary One Health. 2020 was a challenging year for everyone, not just us. However, we rose to the challenge. Our leadership team developed and the board passed a very stringent and strong contingency plan. The plan allowed us to sustain the organization, to grow our partnerships, and to protect our patients and staff during COVID-19. Our motto became, we are all in this together. Together we are one, primary one health. I'd like to introduce our CEO, Shalita Tavares, who will enlighten us more about the accomplishment from the past year. Thank you. Hello, as CEO of Primary One Health, I'd like to welcome you to our 2020 Annual Meeting and Community Report. But first, I'd like to introduce you to our Board of Directors, 51% who must be patients of Primary One Health. Our Board Chair, Jacqueline Downey, our board chair elect, Samantha Schuler, treasurer, Russ Barney, our secretary, Dr. Celeste Asphal. We have board members, Tom Adams, Jennifer Beard, Bob Bensonhaber, Mary Bynum. We also have Maria Cortez, Gonchin Littell, Dustin McKee. We also have Ed Morgan, Ada Sanchez, Kyla Ross, our immediate past chair, Candy Pringle, and our special advisor, Emily Fisher. I'd also like to introduce you to our 2020 leadership team. Michelle Ingmeyer, Chief Operations Officer, Dr. Jeffrey Marable, our Chief Clinical Officer, DeWitt Harrell, our Chief Financial Officer, and John Tolbert, our Chief Community Services Officer. And now I'd like to invite you to listen to one of our partners. Good evening. Primary One has been an amazing community advocate with the City of Columbus for over 40 years. Thank you for your service to ensuring that individuals are able to have amazing health care services to improve their quality of life. 2020 started out strong and Primary One Health was honored to share our perspectives in the news. Our first newsworthy event was our own Dr. Marable, who received an award from the, the Word Church of God in Christ. We also had a visit by U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown uh, to participate in a maternal mortality uh, roundtable on African-American women. We had a visit by our Health Resources and Services Administration. Uh, they visited Primary One Health and visiting with us was the administrator of HRSA, Tom Engels, the Associate Administrator, Luis Padilla, our Region 5 HHS Director, Douglas O'Brien, and another Associate Administrator, Dr. Michael Warren. Here's another one of our supporters and partners. Columbus Public Health is proud to partner with Primary One. Now more than ever, the work that you do is critical to our community's health. I salute you and I thank you for everything you do to create a healthy and safe community. Then the novel coronavirus known as COVID-19 pandemic struck and Primary One Health quickly pivoted to telehealth visits, which we were unable to do previously. In two weeks, Primary One Health went from no telehealth visits to 70% of all patient visits performed by telehealth. In 2020, 51,000 of our patient visits were telehealth, with the majority in family medicine, internal medicine, and behavioral health. The senior leadership team quickly developed a contingency plan, which was approved by the board and called for no staff layoffs or furloughs. The grants team worked hard and diligently and applied for and received $7.7 .7 million in grant dollars for 2020. Our revenues for 2020 
totaled $42.2 million, and 62% of our visits were reimbursed by third-party payers. Our expenses for 2020 were $40.3 million. Staff did an outstanding job of managing expenses, and 78% of the total expenses were used for patient programs. Primary One Health teams quickly developed four COVID test centers at our West Broad, Agler Road, 1905 Parsons Avenue, and East 17th Avenue locations. We conducted 21 pop-up, drive, walk-up testing events and administered 26,882 COVID-19 tests between June 1st and December 31st to slow the spread of the coronavirus. We expanded our partnerships with state, Columbus, Franklin County, and municipalities in Central Ohio. And now here are other partners sharing their thoughts. Hi, this is Joe Mazzola, Health Commissioner with Franklin County Public Health. Just wanna extend my thanks and appreciation for the partnership with Primary One Health, particularly over the last year. Everything you've done in terms of testing, in terms of community awareness, and now with vaccinations to help support our community throughout this year has just been extraordinary. We cannot say thank you enough to your staff, to your board, to your volunteers. Uh, so on, on behalf of everyone at Franklin County Public Health, thank you so much and have a great meeting. Thanks for planning, promoting, and running three COVID-19 testing sites in Bexley so we could get over 100 residents tested. You're appreciated. The City of Dublin helped more than 300 people get tested for COVID-19 at no cost with the help of Primary One Health's dedicated healthcare workers. Primary One's communications team also assisted with marketing efforts to get the word out to our community. Thank you for your partnership. We also partnered with faith-based and community organizations, schools, and businesses. Here's another partner presentation. Hi, I'm Pastor Mike Reeves, Senior Pastor of the Corinthian Missionary Baptist Church, and we send our congratulations to Primary One Health. And let me tell you, we are grateful for their partnership. This past year, we had a COVID-19 testing site, and it was magnificent. Congratulations, Primary One Health. Keep up the good work. Hello, I'm Reverend Derek Holmes, Senior Pastor of the Second Baptist Church in Circle, Ohio. I want to talk for a brief moment about our partnership with Primary One with regard to COVID-19 testing and the vaccines uh, here in Circleville. Because of their generosity, because of their resources, uh, we were able to make sure that people in this community were able to get tested quickly and efficiently. People were able to get quick access to the vaccine. And because people knew where they stood with the virus, it ultimately led to our community, uh, particularly poor folk, uh, being able to be more safe in the community uh, to ultimately be well. So thank you, Primary One, for your partnership. It has been a blessing to this community. Hi, my name's Becky Hoagland, and I'm one of the school nurses at Columbus Academy. And I'd like to say thank you to all of you at Primary One for everything you did for us when we needed to have two pop-up COVID testing sites, and you were able to help us with that. And I'd like to have a special shout out to Catherine, who really was wonderful to work with. And I could see myself wanting to come and volunteer and work at your company when I'm done being a school nurse. Anyway, thank you again and have a great day. Primary One Health has done a great job and has been a solid neighbor for core management. Uh, the Residents that we have at Providence Glen, and especially in our senior communities at Stratford East and Corbin Commons, have benefited from their PCR testing, which was on site, which was tremendous for the seniors who couldn't get around. Um, they also made vaccines available for our seniors at Stratford East and Corbin Commons, totaling about 180 residents. Uh, we're proud to call them neighbors and look to continue our relationship in the future and beyond. Thank you. We appreciate and thank our partners for expressing their thoughts on our partnerships. 
During this time, Primary One Health provided leadership with the Governor's COVID-19 Minority Health Strike Force and the Columbus City Schools Safe Schools Working Group. Primary One Health recognized early on that racism is a public health crisis and provided testimony before the Ohio Senate. Primary One Health was also one of the first organizations in central Ohio to declare racism as a public health crisis. Primary One Health provided leadership through our quarterly community health advocacy breakfast forums. Each quarter we address different topics related to the social determinants of health. This past year we looked at employment for all and legal challenges education, and transportation. If you missed any of these breakfast forums, you can find them on the YouTube channel of Primary One Health. Despite all of the challenges, we opened a brand new health center site on Sawmill Road to meet the needs of our residents and patients in the tri-municipality areas of Columbus, Dublin, and Upper Arlington. We pivoted our premier fundraising event, the Healthcare Justice Awards, to a virtual one in 2020. At this event, we honored Dr. Amy Acton, former director of the Ohio Department of Health, for her tireless work in guiding all Ohioans through the pandemic. We honored Primary One Health's own Cherry Mack for her tireless dedication to our patients, her work with COVID testing, as well as her infectious smile and positive attitude. In addition, we honored NBC4 as our 2020 community partner for their work with us on the Stuff the Backpack campaign, as well as their work to support the health of the community. We want to thank all of our 2020 donors we recognize that 2020 has been a challenging year and we are grateful for your support. Your dollars go to help our patients with necessities such as personal safety and protection equipment, addressing the social determinants of health and food insecurity. You can watch our Healthcare Justice Awards on Primary One Health's YouTube channel. Be sure to save the date for November the 4th, 2021 at the Marriott University District Hotel. As we close our annual meeting and report to our community, we thank you, our stakeholders and patients, for supporting our work, your partnership and efforts to keep each other safe. Please continue to wear a mask, stay socially distanced at least six feet apart, and wash your hands frequently. And now that the vaccines are available, please get your vaccine. We are here and available to vaccinate you. We are all in this together. We are one. We are Primary One Health. Thank you.